that. Uh, I told them at the meeting there that uh, there's only three of these coaches that's out here today that I have not participated against as a coach, and that's not bragging. That just being an honor to get to participate against those people. When you uh, come to the state tournament, Clay County has made numerous trips. And uh, it's got to be a special, even if you don't play, to still come in and see this atmosphere. It is. It's great. And girls basketball has come a long way. Uh, we talked about that in our, in our seminar this morning. And it's just great to see all these people here. They've got good attendance here. This is a great place to have girls basketball here at Richmond. You know, Richmond is the place that got it all started back in 1975. So this is really good. And, you know, it's fun to watch. The atmosphere is great. And to see all these people back in girls basketball, just outstanding. Thank need. you. Go anywhere. <laughs> uh, all right, I'm ready. All right, tell me what it's like to get back out here again. Uh, it's been, I guess, what eight years or so since you quit coaching, and uh, to get back out on the, on the floor again at the state tournament. Well, it's been eight years since I quit Laurel County. Three since I left Little Mercy. Uh, kind of gives you a few chills. Maybe want to kind of like get back in it, but <laughs> but I'll pass. What's it like to be out here with a lot of the uh, people that you started uh, the, the renaissance of, of girls basketball with? Well, it, it was a, a tremendous pleasure to see all these people that uh, we used to play each other back years ago in the state tournament. Uh, Dave Wiedemann, uh, just a whole bunch of guys and ladies, Peggy Fair, Tina Leahy, all those ki uh, coaches, and it's just good to see them. We just had a good time. We sat down and reminisced and really had a good time. When we look at the uh, state record books, you see Laurel County, Laurel County, Laurel County in there. Does it make you feel pretty good uh, even, you know, years later? Oh, yeah. It's unbelievable, really. It's something like that could happen. And, uh, you know, well, it, it may happen again, but it's take a lot of things to fall in place. All right. That's all we need, Coach. Thanks a lot. Appreciate it. <laughs> well, you got the uh, biggest ovation from the, from the contingent that's still in the upper deck. Uh, talk about walking out on the floor and kind of reliving that 94 uh, team in about a 30 second walk from the uh, tunnel to the uh, podium. Yeah, it was, uh, well, you know, it was a wonderful experience to, to walk out there with, uh, with all of the state championship coaches. I mean, some elite company there. So it was, uh, you know, that was a, that was a neat experience in itself. And, uh, and, uh, you know, just bringing back the memories of that 94 team, uh, is uh, you know it's it's worth every step we took out there, and I wish I wish we could uh, I wish we could uh, just relive that uh, every year like this. Uh, the Mountain coaches or coaches in our coverage here, from Pulaski to the Hazard MC Napier, they we seem to dominate the coaching staff out there. What's that say about Mountain basketball? Well, you know we uh, we've always said that that 14th region basketball, and you know and 13th region also is probably the has been throughout the years strongest in the state, and and I, I think it. I think just uh, it just speaks uh, a world about about how our girls play in the mountains. You know, we've won so many championships. You know, with Hazard and us and Clay County. You know, you uh, you don't get any better than, than those programs. And uh, our regions have always been the most respected in the state. And and it uh, you know we take a lot of pride in that. All right, that's all we need. Well, what's it like to get back on the floor again, uh, not as a boys coach, but as a girls coach, rec being recognized for the state championship teams of a few years ago? Well, you know, that's great, a great feeling to just go out there with all these uh, great coaches, you know, in the past years. And uh, just, you know, this kind of puts in perspective uh, what a little bit of success you've had, you know, what great memories it is. You said you had a team of destiny that year, and you mentioned in the interview we had a, a few months ago that, you just didn't see how that team could have been beaten, and uh, where does where does that team rank amongst the coaches that the the, the teams that these these guys have? Well, you know, I uh, I don't really know. You know, everyone that won a state championship probably thinks their team was the best ever. You know, but I've got to believe it. You know that that '97 team ranks right up with the top teams ever in the state of Kentucky. Well, oh, when you. What kind of memories come flooding back when you say, well, you know, I coached against that lady or I coached against that guy? Well, what, what happens to you there, you know, is, is when you, a lot of these, I got into girls coaching in 86 and some of these uh, tournaments, you know, had already taken place, but like Coach Bowling there, you know, just, I mean, I can't imagine, you know, winning four state championships, you know, in three in a, in a row and, you know, it's, it's, it's got to be, uh, you know, it's just an awesome feeling, you know, just, just to get down here and play and then when, when something happens, you know, good for you, and you do finally get to the top, you know, and win a championship, it's just, it's indescribable. That's tremendous. Thank you. I want to thank you. All right, I'm ready. All right, uh, 
in 81, you guys had a heck of a run and you won on this court and you get to walk out on this court again uh, in 2000. It's a tremendous feeling. You know, I, I've been back up here many times watching games and watching tournaments, but it didn't make you get out there and want to get back in this thing and get back coaching. I mean, and I believe I would if I had the opportunity. Uh, I miss it a lot, but main thing, you know, uh, 81 was a special year. I had a, a daughter born just a couple months after the after the tournament, and things couldn't have got better. So it's uh, it's, it's great to be back out there on the floor, when seeing all the fans. When you walk out there, do you get to be with Coach Bowling and get to be these other coaches of that era, and then the rest of what's it like to coach to be out there with the people you coached against and and waged war on for a oh, while? Yeah. It's tremendous. Uh, we just got a, such a camaraderie with the coaches, and they have the utmost respect for each other. And, and Roy and I, we we. We played five times a year uh, back when in '81, and and uh, he beat me more than I beat him, and and uh, he set a precedent. But if you go back and look, I think 37% of the the teams that's been in the uh, finals have been from the 12th region at that time. I mean, up to now. So so that says a lot for the 12th region and uh, the way basketball started. But everybody else is is, is really it's caught fire. Girls basketball is here and here to stay. It's just wonderful to see the way the athletes are participating. Uh, it's tremendous. I'm at all to watch them. All right, coach. All we need. Thank you. Thank you for <laughs> no problem. No problem. You gotta sneak everybody in here. Oh, that's yeah. okay. Everybody out. No, that's no problem. <laughs> okay. Uh, talk about the uh, 91 team briefly. What's it like to walk out on the court again and, and be along with all these other coaches, especially you know Roy Bowling, since he kind of set the stage for the Laurel County tradition. Well, you know the coaches that are with us today pioneered girls basketball when it was re you know brought back in '75. So to be on the floor with Roy Bowling and some of those people is really tremendous. I had the privilege of coaching with Coach Ball as an assistant and then get a chance to uh, you know, be a part of that program in 91. Uh, tremendous feeling. I mean, there's, you know, we were talking earlier in the, uh, in the coaches program this morning. There's not really any words for it. It's just you, know, you can't grab it. It's just such a feeling of emotion. Those, those kids, uh, they played so hard. Uh, we, were, we were considered eight most likely to win it, you know, in the way they have it preseason ranked or ranked before the tournament. And so, you know, we were talking with Coach Kapir. You know, it just has to fall just right. You know, uh, some things happen for us, and uh, just a great experience, you know, for our kids, and, and you know, just a tremendous opportunity. And, and I'm just really, uh, I'm just really thrilled that I, you know, that I get to walk out there with those people. I mean, you feel like a kid in a candy store. It's really special.